My dad had a really small town drugstore in uh, central Connecticut. So I used to work there from age seven till I graduated college. And I just got a feel for the medical industry. Um, you know, patients would come in with prescriptions and really, number one, liked dealing with people. It was really sort of fun doing that. Finally, you know, went to uh, Emory University for medical school. Really, really enjoyed being in the hospital. You know, it was a big inner city hospital they have in Atlanta, Georgia, a lot to do. And especially the cardiology program down there was really strong. A lot of good procedures, um, a lot of very gratifying patient care. And so that sort of put me into the world of cardiology, and that's what I've been doing now for the last 23, 24 years. One thing I usually find out is, what do you do for a living? What kind of activity level? I really want to know in the context what they do and what they're able to do as far as whatever medical illness they have, because that affects what you do from a management standpoint. And then at that point, after talking and trying to come up with a decision, give them a pretty honest analysis of what I think's going on and what the options are. I'm pretty good, I think, about giving someone options. Sometimes you have to have something done, but a lot of times in medicine and cardiology, there's a number of things you can do. You could have a stress test, you could have a heart cath, you can try medical therapy, and you don't necessarily have to make one decision. I think people like the idea that they get at least an option sometimes of what they think is best and what I think I would do. So I spend a lot of time dealing with patients who are 80 up, who have, we have to make medical decisions. Can they be on a blood thinner? Should they have a heart cath? Should they have a heart valve procedure? Should they get shocked for the rhythm or should we just treat them medically? So I have a big population in that that I have to think about as far as, you know, what are they candidates for? What are they safe to have? What does their family want? What does the patient want? And then I have another group of patients, you know, a lot of people with chronic coronary disease, blockages in the arteries, they've had heart attacks, and they come in to see me once or twice a year. They've had angioplasty, stenting, bypass surgery. And those are, you know, generally people generally do really well.